Hi, I'm Mav with Prima Coffee. I'm going to show you how to set up a GS3 to plumb it into the wall. The great thing about the GS3 is you can use it with a reservoir or plumbed in. And today I'm going to show you how to plumb it in. First of all, with the machine off, remove the drain box like this. Set that aside. Pull out the reservoir and remove this line right here. We use a pair of pliers grab the clamp, squeeze it so it's loose, and then gently wiggle the clamp onto the line. And now we can release the line just like that. Now we'll set that aside. In the plumbed in use, you don't need the reservoir at all. Next, we're gonna open up this side panel. First, unscrew these caps. And then we're gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench and take these nuts off. second one and panel slides off like this. Set this aside. Now we've opened up the pump. At this point, find the same hose that went to the reservoir right here. And we're gonna take this fitting off here. like that. Be very gentle with these copper pipes and brass fittings because they do bend, especially when you go to tighten them up. Uh, you can tighten them too far and bend them out of shape. So now we've got that free, we can pull this line out, set that aside. You won't need any of these parts, the reservoir or the water line now. A braided hose is included with your espresso machine. So go ahead and find that now. <clears throat> Feed it up through the bottom, that same hole that the other line was in, and tuck it in just like this, and then tighten it. Make sure you don't get any kinks. In this line, you want this to be tucked right like that so you get a nice easy curve and we don't restrict our water flow snug that up again not too much just a little pass snug like that <clears throat> and then the other end is a 3 8 inch compression compression fitting uh, you can just have a plumber set that up in your home I would suggest putting a an on-off valve before your compression fitting. I'll set this aside now. <clears throat> Next thing we have to do is get our drain set up. The drain box comes from the manufacturer with a plug in it. You need to remove that plug with a flathead screwdriver. We'll not need this plug anymore. <clears throat> and then Find the drain hose also included with your machine and the barbed fitting. We'll press those together. And we'll use a seven millimeter nut driver or a flathead screwdriver to tighten up the pipe clamp. Get that nice and snug. And then, as I've done here, put a 
two or three wraps of Teflon uh, pipe thread <clears throat> tape on there. And then thread the whole thing into the box. You don't want to over tighten it at this point because you can damage the plastic drain box. We'll make it snug with a wrench, but be careful. Okay. Now that's all set. <clears throat> You'll want a hole in your countertop that you can feed the drain line into. And then into a plumb drain in your home. goes back in just like it came out. You don't use the reservoir at all anymore because you need space for the drain line inside. Okay, <clears throat> the one last thing that we have to do is set up the computer program to recognize that there's no longer a reservoir. Under reservoir use, the whole machine will shut off when the reservoir is empty. So we have to set it up so that the machine realizes there's no reservoir but there is still line pressure coming from the main water supply. So with the main power switch on in the back of the machine, but with the display panel off, we're going to enter the display panel off programming mode. So the display panel is off. We're going to hold this button for about five seconds. Okay, and then we'll continue to use this button to cycle through the options. Language, name, heating options, tank present. It's currently set up so that it is going to try to recognize a reservoir tank. We will use one of these buttons, here or here, to switch it to tank not present. This is in plumbed in mode when there will be no reservoir. So we will just cycle back through. Back to the regular offsetting. Now we're ready to hook up our water lines, set up our drain line, turn the water on, fill up the machine, and uh, make some espresso. Thanks for watching.